Hey guys, so it's day two uh, of this little project. All right, fix that. Um, so we had a problem. Uh, left my head out here to drip dry after I kind of sprayed off the little pieces off of it. I had to go run some, do some stuff uptown. Came back and my dog had found my head. So we're gonna do a dog skull next. I'm just kidding. But she trashed this skull. Um, show you guys what it looks like in a second just a reminder do not let your dogs anywhere near the skull it's kind of my fault I left it where she could get it I didn't think she'd bother it since I took everything out and off of it but apparently she did and you think I'd learn from my mistakes because this is how before with my dad's dog anyway so we're still gonna go with the plant she didn't hurt the velvet which was the whole idea about this video will velvet stay if frozen for a year and that was the plan. So we don't really care about the skull so much, but I did want to go ahead and show you. She pretty much trashed it. I'm not very happy with her. She's in deep trouble. So yeah, if anybody wants a dog, give me a call. Just kidding. She's my dog. And I do like her. She's blood trained. She can point. I don't know where she is. Anyway. Yeah, let's get let's get to the bleaching. Alright, I got you guys in my trailer. Just because this is an easy place to do it. So all you're doing is you're getting your your hair dye kit. Uh, all you want is the peroxide out of it. Uh, and that's it. Shake it up. Make sure you got gloves. Roll up your sleeves. Don't get this stuff on anything you don't want dyed or bleached or anything like that your gloves on have plastic ready like a trash bag or something what you do put your gloves on take a knife make sure you got tape with you because you're going to tape the trash bag around his head here in a second And all you're going to do is pour it on there and rub it on. Pour it on and rub it on. Get in all those little crevices. Work it. And uh, you get it all up in there. Nice and deep like. As they say. And you want to get it everywhere. You just want to put a little bit on and rub it in with your hand. You don't have to just cover, coat the whole thing. And you can if you want to. It's just, uh, it's wasteful. It, this, plate, this stuff can go a long ways. I'm going to get inside the skull. Let's tilt it up. It was easier to tilt up when I had a nose. Rub it in there. Nice paying attention. Anyway, pretty much it's that simple. Just put the peroxide where you want white. Alright, easy, huh? Alright, now we're gonna flip it over. Oh shoot. Don't touch the horns. Make sure you get on the bottom of them teeth. Just kind of pour it onto my thumb and pushing it up into the teeth as I go. Like that. And like I said, like this was this was like under a dollar. So it's definitely the cheapest way to go. I'm gonna get up in here, roof of his mouth. I've heard like ten bucks, but high percentage peroxide is kind of expensive. Alright, now carefully Touching the horns with your hands. All right, I pretty much got everything. I'm just going to use it. With... So you can see he's just covered in it, right? Just soaking in the peroxide, and that's what you want it to look like. Don't get it on the horns. Just right there, across the skull. And it should like that when you look like that when you're done, guys. Uh, pretty easy. 
simple wrap it up you don't need to be super tight just wrap it up uh, put it somewhere the dogs can't get it and then uh, you're done and then you just come back and check on it see how it's doing and then when you're happy with its whiteness then spray it off and you're done and let it drip dry somewhere the dogs can't get it anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll hurry and get a couple more videos of some skulls I've done and then I'll keep you guys up to date on if this velvet is going to last or not so thanks for watching guys alright guys how's it going so it has been 48 hours two days since we did this skull and put the peroxide on it so I'm going to unwrap him and I'll give you a look see what he looks like okay so there you go guys simple easy uh, I don't know if you can tell but it bubbles a little bit right there and the teeth aren't as white so what you do is you just work it back in, like maybe right there you can see that little bit right there. Yeah, there you go. So that stuff right there, that's, that's normal, that's what it's supposed to do. But anyway, all you do is work it back into a little bit more of a, like a smooth paste. And just work it in the teeth a little bit more and and just let it sit and it'll, it'll brighten up those teeth just fine. And uh, pretty much you only have to do that one time usually, it depends on how well you did with the teeth and uh, yeah so what do you guys think not too shabby huh anyway velvet is still looking good guys I haven't uh, I haven't noticed any any stripping at all except for what I've done when I killed him um, still looks pretty good at the base uh, really so far the freezing technique is working so we will, uh, I'll just give you guys updates on how the velvet is doing, you know, throughout the year. Maybe we'll do a little, I'll do a video, you know, a couple of years, hopefully, if this thing's still going on. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, the velvet is doing great. It's been out of the freezer for about three days now. So it seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, well, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so be sure to subscribe, guys. Um, Hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'll try and do some more like this, the kind of mythbuster kind of thing involving hunting. So, thanks for watching, guys.